Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lock Picker here, and I have a question for you. Have you ever been picking a lock and overset a pen and wondered, is there a better way to get this lock open other than just completely resetting and starting over? That is precisely the question that I am looking to answer today. The video today is part of my Lock Picking Homeschool series, and this is a video series that I started to help beginners learn to grow up to an intermediate level. Today we are going to focus on recovering from overset pens, and more information is coming up on this topic in just a moment. Please stay tuned. I'm going to first start off by demonstrating the zipping technique to start to recover from overset pens. In order to demonstrate that fully, I'm going to start to pick the lock as I normally would. And now I'm going to overset a pen intentionally, so I'm going to try to overset key pen number one. You can see that key pen number one is overset because it is now lodged between the Bible and the plug and is obstructing plug rotation. So traditionally what you might consider doing is just completely letting off your tension and letting all the pens drop back down. But you can see that driver pen number five is set. And if you already have set pens, you're not gonna to wanna to waste them and you'd hope that there'd be an easier way. The zipping technique is one of the answers to this question. In order to do it, you're gonna place your hook all the way in the back of the lock and you're gonna to start to zip. If you do not hear the pen drop back down, you're gonna to want to let off your tension ever so slightly and you're gonna keep doing that until you hear the pen drop back down. If you're utilizing top of the keyway tension, I highly recommend you use bottom of the keyway tension as an alternative because you can easily drop your top of the keyway tensioner during this. If you are gonna use bottom of the keyway tensioner, make sure you insert it and tension in the same direction that you are already tensioning so you do not drop all of your pens. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to insert my hook all the way into the back of the lock and I'm gonna give it a couple zips. If I do not hear anything drop back down, I'm just gonna let off the tension a little bit and then I'm going to reassess the feedback. Now that we can see that key pin one has dropped back down, I'm going to start to feel the pens. So that feels springy and not overset. Two feels springy. Three feels like it's binding up. Got a good click, now that feels set. Four. Feels like it's binding, got a good click. Now that feels set. Five still feels floppy like it's set. One, binding up a little bit. And then I may have just hit two and the lock is now opened up. So as you can see, utilizing the zipping technique is a really great way to start to recover from an overset. The next technique I'm gonna offer you is utilizing very skillful tensioning to start to correct overset pens. So in order to do this, I'm going to start to pick the lock and I'm going to overset a pen intentionally. So I'm going to just start to overset, let's see, key pen number one. And this method is strongly influenced by the choice of driver pens and key pens inside the lock. If you have all security pens up in the Bible, this can be much easier. But once you start to introduce serrated key pens, this technique can get much more difficult to pull off. So traditionally you will think to just let off all of the tension and reset the lock. But many times you can just start to let off the tension very lightly and very slowly. And you can start to listen to hear for the key pen to drop back down. You'll be able to hopefully keep the previous driver pen set and you'll be able to pick up from where the key pen has dropped back down. So I'm gonna to try to demonstrate that for you right now. And let's see if we can get key pen number one to just drop back down. All right, so you can see that key pin one has dropped back down. All of the driver pins remain where they were before. And now let's see what it takes to get this lock open. So one still feels loose, two still feels loose, three, that was under set, that feels set, four, it's binding up, five feels set, one's binding, got a click, two's binding and you got a click. So you can see that using skillful tensioning can be very valuable to fix overset pens. And if you pay very close attention, you can utilize this technique to start getting your locks open much more quickly. I'd like to add a few closing remarks. So when you're first getting started out in lock sport, the most important thing you can do is try to pick a lock every day and every little piece of practice will be adding up and you'll be surprised how quickly you'll start to grow as a picker. When you are starting to learn to open up locks, overset pens can be very frustrating. The most important thing to do with overset pens is try to prevent them. You're gonna first wanna start off by trying to utilize the appropriate hook. 
When you're picking a lock, you always want to try to use the thickest pick that you can get away with that is not touching the warding. This is going to give you the most feedback that you can get, so that will help you be able to not overset pens. Another thing you want to try to do is try to use the steepest hook that you can get into the lock that the keyway will allow. This way, if you have a lock with unknown bidding, you'll be able to individually manipulate each key pen. You're not going to have the shank of the hook hit the key pen and start to overset the pens. So if you're able to use the appropriate pick for the appropriate lock, that can make a huge difference. You also want to try to use the correct tensioner, and a lot of locks top of the keyway tension offers you a lot of great feedback and a lot of great control. When you are trying to pick with bottom of the keyway tension, sometimes it is not going to give you enough room for your pick and it is just going to be getting in the way. The tensioner is going to be taking up too much room. So you're always going to want to try to utilize the appropriate pick and the appropriate tensioner. Once you have picked out those things, you're going to want to try to use the appropriate amount of tension. Locks, especially with standard pens, can tolerate a little bit more tension than locks with security pens. More tension typically can make it much more difficult to overset pens because it physically makes it harder. One thing to always consider is just being very mindful about your tensioning. Careful tensioning is more important than careful picking. It is a skill that takes time to develop and I really hope that you'll be able to just keep practicing and I'll be excited to see where you are in the future. Thank you to everyone for checking out this episode of Lockpicking Homeschool. This is a really great video series to help beginners get started in lock sport. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great day and just thank you so much for checking this out.